Hi guys, I'm Courtney Corbetta and I'm here with Nate Rowe of the Rockland Boulders. Nate, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, you're entering your third season with the Boulders. What does it feel like being, well, you could say a veteran on the team? Uh, it feels really good. Uh, first, coming into the team, you know, it's a little different because you got a bunch of older guys. But, um, you know, being on, on the team for this long, now you're a little accustomed to everything that's going on and you know what to expect. So uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable for everything that goes on. So it's nice. Nate, when did you start playing? I started playing baseball probably when I was three or four years old, you know, just starting off with t-ball. But ever since I could remember, ironically, I've had a bat in my hand, even though I'm a pitcher. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so did you play any other sports growing up, or was it always just baseball? No. Um, I was actually, you know, I, I enjoyed playing other sports like basketball and football. I really liked playing basketball in high school and middle school, so um, those were probably the two main sports. All right. Now, um, where did you play before the Boulders? Where did you play in college? And uh, I tell played, me more about that. I played at Rutgers. Uh, okay. I actually played with Charlie Law and Steve Neister. All right. Um, so, you know, it's nice to have them on the team. And me and Charlie have been roommates since we were sophomores in college. So it's nice to have him here. Well, it's nice to have that, that history with them. Yeah. And then to be able to play on a team in the minor leagues must be a cool feeling. Yeah, it's really cool. Because all that work you put in, in in college, you know, it's nice that it pays off. And it's even better that you get to play with your college teammates. And your friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So out of all the years that you have been playing, um, what is your most memorable moment in the game? Oh, most memorable moment. Um, it would be, it wouldn't be right if I didn't say that winning the championship last year was the most memorable moment. Uh, it was a special team, special group of guys. Um, you know, a lot went on during the year, but it was nice to bring uh, the, the championship back to Rockland. So that was probably the most memorable. And what professional baseball player do you look up to the most? Jabba Chamberlain. Okay. He's my favorite baseball player of all time. Uh, uh, I'm a big Yankee fan, and uh, ever since he broke out in the majors with uh, the Yankees, I've, I've been a fan of him, the way he goes about playing and uh, the way he attacks hitters. It's just, you know, I've always, you know, idolized him, so definitely Jabba. So I'm guessing Yankees is your favorite yep. baseball team. Okay, yep. all right. Uh, if you were playing any sport besides baseball, what would it be? Not only one, because I know you played a few others, but... Um, I would definitely say basketball. Basketball? Yeah, basketball, okay. definitely. It's one of, it's my second favorite sport. I mean, it's, it's, it's up there, but unfortunately I'm too short to play. So uh, <laughs> I just, you know, play for fun. But definitely basketball. All right. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, what is one thing that you can't go without on a road trip? Um, I would have to say my cell phone. I mean, I know that sounds cliche nowadays, but a cell phone is a computer with calling capabilities. So, I mean, it has everything that you need on it. And especially, uh, you know, when we're in Canada, uh, no one really speaks the language. And as long as you have Wi-Fi, you know, all is fair game. So definitely the cell phone. Nate, what is one thing that a lot of people don't know about you? Um, uh, I like uh, the TV network Bravo. Really? Yeah, That's love my Bravo. Favorite as well. Love okay. Bravo. I have a, a sister and, and my mom, and they've pretty much influenced me. So, um, yeah, love reality TV on Bravo. Now, which show on Bravo? Millionaire Matchmaker. Millionaire Matchmaker. That's one of the best ones Love I have it. to say. Yeah. That's so every much time, fun. Every time it's on TV, I'll watch it. No Gotta question keep it about on. it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I totally agree with that. Yeah. I agree. Great TV. Uh, what, who would you say is the most fashionable on the team? Um, I would have to say Joe Maloney. Joe Maloney. Yeah, he okay. knows how to dress. All right. So, I mean, that seems to be what everyone's saying. So, I'm going to go with it. You know, he dresses good and... He looks good, so. <laughs> if you won the lottery, what is one of the first things that you would buy? One of the first things I would buy if I won the lottery? Probably a house. I'd buy a big mansion. Mm -hmm. I'd blow it all away. I'd buy a mansion, car, um, lots of materialistic items. Hey, at least you're being honest. Yeah, because I don't have that money now, and I wish I did, and that's what definitely what I would do with it. What car? Oh, man. I think I would, I think I, I really like the Audi A8. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really like that car. But I mean, like, why limit it to one? I would get like four. Five, six. Maserati, you know, Lamborghini, um, you know, play cars. Maybe a Range Rover. 
Definitely a Range Rover. Range Rover. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. For sure. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe even a boat, throwing a boat there. Yeah, yacht. Let's do a, a yacht. yacht. Yep. A yacht. Let's All do right. a yacht. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, and what is, um, what would you say if you were going on an island or you were stranded on an island? What are three things that you could not go without? Three things I cannot go without? Mm -hmm. um, is there cable on the island or is that something I could bring? Just say, okay, there's cable on the island. Okay, well, I'd definitely bring my PlayStation 4, no question about it. Uh, I would definitely bring my Apple TV, just because I can, and that's another item that I could, I could have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, geez, this is tough. It's two. You need one more. One more. Maybe a gun. No food? No, because I, I could hunt with the gun That's and true. get food. That's true. That's yeah. very true. A gun with unlimited bullets. We'll put it that way. <laughs> okay. Nate, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, myself in 10 years, I'd probably, I want to get into real estate. Um, my family actually has uh, real estate in Brooklyn, so I'd probably get into that um, just with the family corporation. So I could definitely see myself doing that. Awesome. Well, Nate, thank you so much for taking the time with me today. It was so nice getting to know you. Um, again, this is Courtney Corbetta and Nate Rowe, and we are here at Provident Bank Park.